Eggs are pretty amazing, a multifunctional ingredient that can give so many different results when used in baking. It is important to know how our individual ingredients work within our cakes or baked goods as then we can begin to adapt our recipe and find a suitable substitute if required. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Claire Elizabeth and this is my new cake chemistry series which I am pretty excited about because I am definitely a science nerd at heart. If you are enjoying the content I'm creating, please remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications button so that you don't miss any of the latest updates from me. In this video, I'm going to talk about the top 12 functions of eggs within baking and cake making. Function number one, and probably the most important one of them all, providing structure. Eggs contain proteins, and proteins, when heated, undergo a process called coagulation. Essentially, this is the bonding of proteins to create a strong yet flexible structure. Without eggs, most cakes would collapse. They are also very important in thickening custards and creams. Function number two, aerating. Eggs assist in the leavening process of baked goods because they form a fairly stable foam consisting of tiny air bubbles. It's these bubbles that fill with air and cause a product such as a cake to rise. Egg whites are particularly good at forming a foam and can whip up to eight times their own volume. Very impressive. Function number three, emulsifying. Emulsifiers help prevent fat and water from separating. In fact, they don't really mix together well at all without one. Let's just say fat and water are not friends. <laughs> Eggs help to bind individual ingredients together in batters or doughs. The main emulsifier in eggs is lecithin, and I will discuss that in full another time. Function number four, providing flavour. Although the egg whites don't really add any flavour, they're pretty tasteless, the egg yolks certainly do, as that is where all the fat is located, and fat provides and enhances flavour. Function number five, adding colour. Again, the whites don't contribute here, but the yolk contains carotenoids, which provide a yellow-orange colour to cakes and baked goods. They also take part in the Maillard reaction due to the very small amount of glucose and the proteins they contain. Function number six, providing nutritional value. Eggs, as we know, contain a fairly high amount of protein, as well as a variety of vitamins and minerals, such as vitamin D. The carotenoids in the yolk are also antioxidants, lutein being the main one here. Function number seven, delaying staling. Starch retrogradation is the main reason why baked goods such as bread go stale, and I will talk about that in detail another time. Eggs basically interfere with this process. Function number eight, adding moisture. Eggs are 75% water, so we'll add a lot of moisture to baked goods. However, it's important to bear in mind that they are also structure builders, so adding a lot of eggs to a certain product can make it tougher and drier. It's all about a careful balance. Function number nine, adding shine. We can brush beaten egg onto the surface of doughs, such as bread, to give them a shiny surface once baked. An egg wash, particularly one containing milk, will also give the finished product a golden brown crust. Function number 10, acting as glue. The stickiness of eggs means that they can be used as an edible glue to adhere additional ingredients to the surface of baked goods, such as seeds or sugar crystals. Function number 11, giving a smooth texture to confectionery. For example, ice cream often contains eggs because the fats, proteins and emulsifiers they contain interfere with sugar and ice crystallisation, resulting in a smooth and creamy texture. And finally, function number 12, increasing softness in doughs. The fats, proteins and emulsifiers eggs contain interfere with the formation of gluten in products before they're baked, such as bread. This can give them a much softer texture. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Of course, if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in the future, please do pop them in the comments below or come and say hello to me over on Instagram. See you next time. Bye. It's important for us to understand how individual ingredients work within...